what's up guys this is the second video of becoming a professional developer uh, and the last video I have explained you about the basic requirement uh, and there I have uh, stopped by explaining you the compiling compiling error and the second thing is called the runtime error I told you in the second video I will be explaining those things in a deep manner so first of all we will understand what is called this compiling error so compiling error means guys uh, when you are developing the program you are writing this program in a uh, text editor like this notepad and uh, in order to execute this one you want to go to the command prompt and you are uh, going to run this one so after generating this source code source code means uh, something you can understand but the computer cannot understand this one so in order to make uh, the uh, make this source code in an understandable way to the computer you want to convert into a a code which can uh, which is close to the machinery language that process is called compilation compilation so in that process you are generating a dot class file and uh, we are calling that thing as the byte code byte code byte code means it is a dot class file dot class the class extension will be coming dot class file and this is an encrypted one because you cannot understand this one this is encrypted only java can understand this one okay uh, so uh, the compiler is the uh, one who is uh, responsible of this one compiler is uh, is responsible of this process process and compiler uh, when compiling compiler has a command called java c by typing this command in the command prompt you can compile the process i will be explaining those things practically after finishing this explanation and uh, who is responsible of this runtime error that is the jvm java virtual machine okay i will come to the runtime error after finishing this compiling error so uh, basically first of all we want to understand what is the task of the compiler then only you can understand how these errors are occurring so there are um, uh, I, I will explain step by step uh, what are the tasks of the compiler first uh, compiler reads reads the source code it can read the source code and after reading that one it will check whether uh, there are syntax errors are uh, there or not if mm, there are syntax errors syntax errors it will show the it will show the error that error is called as a compiling error then guys what is this uh, uh, syntax errors how how do we identify whether there is a syntax error or not syntax errors can be easily identified by if you missed a semicolon semicolon uh, semicolon is missed or colon is missed any of those figures are missed commas uh, colon inverted commas like that way and also if you miss the case sensitivity case sensitivity you know that java is the case sensitive language so if you miss those things it will give this error so that is called the compiling errors and it is happening due to the syntax errors so uh, so uh, i told you that uh, this uh, compiler will uh, uh, read the source code line by line line by line and uh, that thing you should not misunderstand that one so uh, line by line means it reads the code line by line but it is not a top to bottom approach you know that uh, uh, there are two algorithm uh, two algorithms one thing is the uh, top top to bottom approach uh, 
top to bottom approach. Uh, normally, normally the functional languages like C language are using this uh, algorithm. That means uh, top to bottom algorithm means uh, if there is a bigger the bigger solving problem, it can make into small modules and uh, uh, solving the problem. That algorithm is called as the top to bottom approach uh, and uh, the op languages like uh, op languages like uh, uh, c++ c++ and java they apply the uh, algorithm called bottom to top bottom to top approach means bottom to top approach means uh, you have to understand that bottom to top approach means the reverse of the top to bottom Top to bottom means I told that uh, they are thinking about the bigger problem and making it to a, a small modules and solving those small modules. But here what will happen, you, are, you first identify these small modules and simplify and solve those small modules and then average to the bigger picture. That is called as the bottom to top approach. I will explain those things later deeply. Uh, uh, when we are uh, reaching to the next levels but here you do not misunderstand that one this compiler only reads the source code there there is no connection between this uh, top to bottom or bottom to uh, to uh, bottom to top approach with this uh, reading of the source code this is just reading it is uh, how how does it read it will read from uh, top to bottom uh, uh, line by line and check in whether there is a uh, uh, syntax error or not if there is no syntax error what will happen it, uh, if there is if there is no syntax error no syntax error then it can generate the it can generate the bytecode bytecode as what as dot class file i have uh, already mentioned as dot class file and uh, if if there is an error, if there is a error, what will happen? It uh, will show the show the compiling error. So how does this uh, compiler uh, compiling error? How do they show? It will show uh, like this way. First, uh, in the command prompt. Uh, uh, there are several things uh, they will show and you can easily identify the error by using those things it will show it will show the name of the error uh, by the uh, compile uh, command prompt uh, methodology it will show uh, the name of the error and also the location location of the error where is it and also the line number line number of the error line number means the the notepad now uh, notepad you can't see here uh, the line number now uh, if you move to uh, another text editor they will be shown in the line also right uh, then uh, and also uh, 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 if how many errors available that thing also it will show how many errors uh, how many errors normally it will show only one error if it is uh, uh, if there are uh, if there are several locations it will show only one error but uh, if one error is uh, uh, one error tends to uh, uh, one error is specific and it will uh, give uh, several errors inside that one then it will show like two three errors that means normally if the if there are several errors in several locations it will show only the most uh, the preferred error that means uh, this compiling process is happening uh, uh, in a preference order so it will show like this so i will uh, show this thing practically now so i will we'll start by a very basic way class i will take a class like uh, uh, we'll say class uh, uh, IIT, yeah, class IIT, and 
I'll put it here like this way uh, and uh, yes so I will put like this a class university and uh, here I will put uh, uh, what's the my main method how what is the main method public static white main and I will put here what is the thing I want to put here string it is the data type and I go to put the uh, what we call the array list and argument ARGS and uh, you have to put the razor here and uh, I will be putting like system dot out dot print ln and uh, just wait below hello hello welcome to the university uh, right uh, then uh, yes it is done so I have to close the blocks and finish like this way and I have to save this one I will be saving here uh, remember uh, there are two things I have to explain you normally the academically uh, uh, it is said that you when you are uh, naming the uh, file you have to use the same class file as this way so you have to uh, you have to put here the name of the university as the, because this class is university but uh, you don't want to actually do like that way I will show it is in the uh, the, the second way but uh, oh yeah I will uh, rename it not by the uh, the same class name I will be putting it in a, another way I will put it like uh, uh, university I will just put like campus here campus campus and remember you have to put it here Java Java and I will uh, come to this one the F and if uh, I will so uh, save it here in the folder Android Android and I will save this one save Right, and then you have to open the command prompt cmd uh, uh, go to the command prompt so now they, yeah, we are in the C uh, directory so I have to go to the F directory so just put F colon go now uh, yeah H O R because I have put a semicolon there so you have to put the colon right uh, then you have to go inside to the directory so cd space what is the name of your directory that is android so android so it will go to the android folder so now you want to compile so in order to compile you want to put this javac j java c java c means you are going to compile in this one so this is the compiling command so java c and you want to uh, give the same name because i have uh, named it as what is that campus so you have to put here campus campus dot java remember to put dot java and uh, you know that uh, no errors are occurring that means this is getting compiled so after getting compiled you want to execute this one so remember how do we execute this one now you have seen that now up to here there is no compiling error right guys uh, now uh, so far you have observed that there is no compiling error here so uh, what I want to do, I will change my program and I will show you uh, how these compiling errors are occurring. So I will close this uh, com uh, command prompt. So I will be going to this one. So this class university public static void main and you know that this semicolon is there. What I want to do, I will remove this uh, semicolon and I will again save this one. Save. Uh, then what I want to do, I will again uh, open the command from cmd. So here what I want to do, I want to go to the F uh, directory. So I have to uh, go inside to the directory. So what I want to do, I want to give the name of the directory. So Android uh, and uh, what I want to do, I want to compile this one, Java C, Java C and you want to give the same name of the folder that is campus. Uh, your file campus.java now it will give an error yeah it will give an error what is that error 
uh, campus.java in the, the uh, my file campus.java uh, uh, there is an error in the line number five so uh, uh, normally uh, this does not uh, show the line number you have to manually tune that one uh, so if you uh, go with another text editor it will uh, uh, show the line number so you can make that one but I don't want to uh, show it here now uh, so the, uh, that will be the line number 5 line number 5 that means line number 5 means here uh, there this one uh, line, line number 5 is here uh, it has the error uh, this one the, the semicolon it is expected that means it is expected means you are missing this one because uh, you know that I have uh, removed this semicolon uh, that is the error here and also it uh, shows clearly explaining the error System dot out print ln uh, inside bracket this one so this is the location you have to put the uh, you are missing the uh, semicolon this thing is expected and it is missing that one so this is the way I uh, I told you because when you are clearly identifying errors means you are in the programming mindset that's why I told you use the command prompt and use a text editor then you can identify these errors once the errors are fixed that means you are in the right track so uh, this video i want to explain only the compiling errors uh, uh, we'll uh, see uh, we'll change uh, uh, we'll see another type of uh, compiling error so now uh, i will uh, put the semicolon here uh, uh, I, uh, so i will put the semicolon here and I will uh, change uh, one of this one. Now this bracket, uh, inverted commas. I will remove this uh, uh, inverted comma. And now I will save this one. And what I want to do, uh, I want to go to the CMD. Uh, right. Uh, I will uh, go to this. Uh, what we call it. Uh, and I will write CD space. What I want to write uh, the directory name Android and what i want to uh, type here the java c java c and uh, you want to write the name of the all the campus dot java and it will show the error because in the line number five it shows the error unclosed string literal this is the name of the error unclosed string literal because you know that uh, this uh, string is not closed so uh, this one is not closed so you can't consider it as a string that's why it is uh, mentioned in the array as unclosed string literal if this is uh, the string is not closed so it is available here uh, uh, this one hello welcome to the university in this uh, sentence uh, then the, 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 here is the location now this is the starting point of the error so you have to my uh, mindful now this is the starting point of the error and this part is missing so you have to uh, put this uh, inverted commas that is there and also it will mention how many errors are available here right uh, and also we'll uh, go and uh, do another syntax error uh, here uh, at this time i will uh, remove this capital s and put the simple s here and again go to the uh, 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 and save this one so go and open the command prompt and uh, go the same manner f and cd space uh, android uh, i am putting android means i have saved that one in the android folder that's why yeah right uh, then here what you want to do you want to put the java c and going to compile this one and campus dot java uh, right now it will uh, show the error uh, see this one uh, uh, unclosed string literal that means uh, uh, yeah uh, did I uh, did I close that or no I haven't closed this one so uh, yeah uh, this thing also uh, mistakenly I have uh, put here I, I wanted to put this one but by the way uh, there is another thing I have want to explain in this may way also it shows the same error but it uh, does not highlight this one why is that uh, you know that the, the still uh, this uh, inverted comma is missing in that type, uh, that type of cases command prompt will uh, think about the priority it will give the preference the preference order means first of all it will consider inside of the method inside of the method 
that means uh, it will give uh, like in the mathematically board mass like that way uh, uh, it, it is considering inside of the uh, bracket then after that it will go to the uh, semicolon then after that it will go a uh, left to right method yeah, you have to un identify what is the uh, uh, order of that one first of all it will uh, this command prompt does not give uh, more than one error uh, if uh, if one error uh, is affecting to uh, some other things it will show like multiple errors but if there are several errors in uh, several places then it will show only one error so you have to keep an eye about those things uh, here what will happen uh, uh, still uh, this error is available this inverted comma error is uh, available it is inside of this bracket therefore uh, the command prompt going with the preference order first preference is to the inside brackets then to the semicolon after that it will be going left to right order right the, then only you can uh, fix this one still it will be going this one uh, so what I want to do I will fix this error so I will put the uh, inverted commas and uh, now I will go and again uh, save this one so now it will show this error this syntax where this uh, casing thing with it will be given we'll see uh, go to the command prompt right uh, now again in the same manner what I want to do uh, right then see this space you want to go to the Android uh, and now you will be thinking why I am always doing like this way uh, it is very much easy uh, when you are using an IDE it, it is automatically given uh, that's the case guys when it is automatically given, given you are not thinking you are not understanding about the background screens what are the things now you see when I am uh, doing all of those things I am uh, repeatedly doing those things when you are going to the industry that's okay uh, you are uh, comfortable with that one you have want to take those things very much uh, in a, a professional and easiest way but now you are uh, you are still learning so when you are learning you want to understand all of those basics that's why I, I am recommending you to go to the command prompt and uh, do the compiling process then uh, execute that one still we are in the uh, what we call uh, compiling process Java C my uh, file is campus and uh, then campus.java so uh, it will show the error what is that error now see error package system does not exist package system does not exist uh, system dot out print ln this one uh, yeah this error they have mentioned like this way package system does not exist and they have mentioned about the error is available here here means this is the package okay this uh, name of this one is the package uh, I will explain why it is called as the package and uh, the error name is package system does not uh, exist this type of package is not available because Java cannot understand what is this package yeah I will explain what are those things uh, then you will be understanding those things now you have understood that there is something some error there is some syntax error is available here and why it is called as the package so uh, in order to understand these things you want to understand about the programming elements there are programming elements elements if you understand about these programming elements you will understand all those things about Java so the, uh, the programming structure uh, how uh, the programming structure is going uh, that is called the programming elements first uh, the major part is called as a module under the module there is something called package that means uh, pack, uh, the, under the module there is uh, something called package and uh, it is grouping the things then under the package there are something called classes then under the classes there are available things these are variables are available then methods are available then blocks are available blocks are available then constructors are available then then eight there are eight there are only eight programming elements available in any uh, java language so that is the inner class 
uh, now uh, what I want to explain only this one this package part package part means under the module there is a packing grouping of uh, uh, elements that part is called as a package that means this package consists of classes variables methods blocks constructors in a classes all of these things are under this package so uh, the name of the package is called uh, now our package is system now with this one sys term dot out dot print ln and I uh, have mentioned uh, something like uh, uh, what is that uh, welcome to the university welcome to university university this thing I have put uh, right then put a semicolon now uh, here the left to right order you can understand all of the things this first part it is the package then from this dot thing it will go to the next thing next means uh, under the package uh, what is under that one that is the class that is the uh, class so uh, by this out it is representing the class and after that uh, the other things are available now uh, this thing this whole thing print ln uh, and uh, this inside bracket. so brackets and this statement whole thing is called as the method so you will be understanding all of those things when when I'm explaining step by step so uh, up to here that will be okay so you have I think you have completely understood about what is called the compiling errors and how to fix those things okay remember uh, to subscribe my channel then you can understand all of those uh, programming elements and uh, how to become a professional Java developer. Thank you very much.